Welcome to the Observer Media Group's Daily Headlines Broadcast, awarded 2012's Best Video Initiative by a local newspaper in North America. Community news from Longboat, Sarasota, East County, and Siesta Key. YourObserver.com. Local news that's local news. It's Thursday, September 20th, and I'm Alex Mahadavan. And I'm Mallory Nagy, here to report today's daily headlines. A new merchants group has splintered from the Downtown Sarasota Alliance. The Sarasota Downtown Merchants Association's agenda is to provide a united voice for shop owners on Main Street. The group formed separate from Downtown Sarasota Alliance to bring a more focused approach to issues specifically impacting downtown merchants. The SDMA will push for small things such as new trash cans and clean sidewalks, but it will also engage in bigger battles such as ensuring DID funding is spent on projects to enhance the district. For more, pick up a copy of the Sarasota Observer. Siesta condo owners could see a sharp rise in insurance premiums. Siesta Key condominium owners covered by Citizens Property Insurance may have to pay as much as triple the current premium for wind coverage. Condominium Council Vice President Walt Olson conducted a survey of 81 condo associations on Siesta to determine which buildings will be limited in wind coverage under Citizens' new policy. Olson determined 45% might have to purchase new insurance. According to documents provided by Olson, condo associations are allowed to change their rental policy before the effective date of August 1st. For more, pick up a copy of this week's Pelican Press. Manatee County deputies have arrested three men connected to a string of burglaries. Deputies received a call late last night from a person saying a white, bumperless Ford Ranger was driving around a Sarasota neighborhood and it appeared to be the same individuals who were breaking into cars a couple of nights ago. Deputies located and stopped the vehicle and then conducted a search of the car. They found paraphernalia, a camera, three GPSs, a fishing reel, several credit cards and other miscellaneous items that have been reported stolen. The suspects are Christopher Whitson, Jared Dittmars, and Colton Sherwood, all age 21. For more, go to yourobserver.com. Last week, scientists honored Moat Marine founder Dr. Eugenie Clark by naming a great white shark Genie. Nonprofit organization OSEARCH tagged a 15 foot female shark weighing nearly 2,500 pounds. The shark was named after Clark, who turned 90 this year and continues to do research for Moat's office. Clark says she's honored and is glad the shark is still swimming. Jeannie the shark is the first great white to be caught and released in the North Atlantic by O-Search and the only great white to be tagged with a satellite transmitter that provides scientists real-time information about her location. That's all for today's headline. For more community and breaking news, go to yourobserver.com daily. Or pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observers Wednesday or the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday.